A week ago, we were ice off fishing, and now the lake is open. Cameron, with Strawberry Bay Marina, let's go fish. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Hopefully there's some fish out there to find. We haven't had many people yet, so yeah. we're going in blind. We're going, we got old Scott Mitchell. He's gonna show us. You love this place, don't you? I do. So I've been here my whole life, love it. Can't wait to get on the water. You got more gear here. I mean, if we can't catch fish today, uh, we got a problem. Uh, that's, that's true. Hey, we got the Lewis family out with us as well. Two boats. We'll go out and hopefully show you some techniques, talk a little sports with Scott, and maybe Cameron will get us into a fish or two. Where are they going to be at today, guys? I don't know. We, have, we haven't heard any good reports. Good luck to you guys. You too. Likewise. God, gorgeous morning. Look at that sun. All right, I'm not going to fix your rods for you. You guys know what you're doing. Let's get going. Pick your favorite lures. There's a bunch in the baggies. You got Rocky Mountain Tackle. You got Christensen Lake Shore Tackle. You got Max. Some of these already have Dodgers. Wedding rings. Oh, yeah. Let's go with the wedding rings. We're going pink. Nah, I'm not too proud to wear pink or fish with it either. How far we going back? I would go back at least 50. You good? So we'll start shallow. Kokanee are usually pretty shallow this time of year, so we're stacking 10 and 20 feet, and then once we get set up, we'll throw some sideboard, side planer boards out. We can put six rods out today, so. Okay, we're fishing. Well, we've had one bite so far. All the boats are over here at the mouth of the Narrows, and. Our buddy Dan and his family, they've already got three fish on board, so we may be moving. Cam's yeah, over here working. I don't know why we brought him. All Cameron's done is eat donuts. Yeah, eat donuts and work. Oh, there's a fish. Get him. Is that Scotch rod? His pink? Yeah, pink one. Pink oh, one. that's the silver. Nice. First one of the year for Cam. Oh, he's a little guy. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Pink and pink. I might knock him off, is that okay? Sure. Okay, let your rod up. Like I told you, all I'm good for is getting a the boat. Hey, there's your coat for the... I know. You got one to take home. I stole Scott's rod, I stole his fish. <laughs> God. So how deep was that? That one was at 20. That's a nice little size smoker fodder, right on the camp shaft. So far, Scott's got two, two bits of action to R0, so... His pink, his decision-making processes are probably better. A little better, better than ours. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You look good in pink. I look, I'm a great pink. <laughs> That's got to be a ball. Trying to figure this pen optics is kind of fun, but you end up watching the screen the whole dang time instead of watching your rods. Yeah, I'm watching rods. Okay, good. I'll watch rods. You guys find fish. Play with the fish finder. Oh, yep. yep. There you go. Get it. Yep. Get it, Scott. Get it. Oh, he's there, that's he's a kook. There you go. It's the pink rod. It's the, is that pink again? Yeah. It's cutthroat. It's all right. You have to undo your own fish, though. <laughs> Pliers are right here by the, right at your knee, right here. <laughs> program is it? Gotta do all my own stuff. What kind of ship you running here? You gotta, he's gotta take his own fish off. I'm not taking this fish off for you. These quarterbacks are already pampered enough. All right, you're it's on the, the board. Hot, it's the hot rod right there. <laughs> I think we should change some out to pink. As soon as you set it down, I looked over, the thing was dancing. I'm like, well, I guess I guess this is my fish. This might be a Coke. Oh yeah, it's acting like a Coke. What is he? It's good something. That's Coke. Come on, Scott. <laughs> Good Coke. That's the age class we were looking for. Hey, Scott, will you get my fish off? <laughs> <laughs> the kind of person I am, I will. Help me do it. See these quarterbacks? We help each other. They do take direction really well. Thank you, sir. That's a better Coke, a little heavier. Yeah, about maybe a little bit better. Not about, about the same. Nice Coke. Pretty good. It's two for the box. Awesome. Well, I think we better switch out 
some rods and put more pink on. Here, let me, let me take that rod. Okay. <laughs> We're finding a few kokanee here on the Soldier Creek side, but they do seem to be spread out a bit. We haven't seen a big school of kokanee yet. Part of that could be that the water is a bit off color due to runoff. As the water clears, the kokanee schools should form and your catch rate should pick up. This better be a coke. You're not allowed to. No. You're not there? Yep. Yeah. That's Cuddy. I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, this is my job. Bring in the cuts. Bring in the cuts in. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Might be a ring. No, it's cut. It is a better cut, though, Scott. You're getting better. Here, I'll get this one because I feel bad. You get my last one. Don't give me your sympathy. <laughs> Don't patronize me. Nice cut, though. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Thanks, buddy, for the fight. Dude, you have technology out the wall. I know. I don't like, even understand it. I all. need a college degree to run to run all this. It's very cool, though. Yeah. I mean, there's just so much that, you know, how can you not catch fish with all of this? Well, we're trying. The one thing I do like about this boat that Rogers Performance Marine did is they put an eye troll unit on. If you've ever had an eye troll unit or don't know what they are, it's basically hooked to your kicker. And what you do is you just put the kicker in, in gear. You've got this dial here and you just dial it up to the exact speed you want. It's pretty slick. You can dial it to the, uh, you know, 1.2 is where we're, we're trolling right now. And then if you do get one, you can hit idle goes down to idle and you hit idle again, it goes back up to run to the exact speed you were going when you caught the fish. Like I said, how can we not catch fish with all of this technology? We're hooking up a lot, we're just not landing them. So uh, is it illegal to have a banana on the boat? Is that- Do you have a that, banana on this that, boat? Is that bad luck? You better not have brought a banana on my boat. <laughs> Did you really? I have a banana right here in my- So if I eat it, is it still on the boat? Oh, I found it. Radio guys. Come on, be a kokanee. Sure not acting like it though, is it? Not really. Might be a rainbow. First rainbow of the trip. It's actually a good one. Wanna take a look, check it out? They are, they're gorgeous, dude. One thing that strawberry's done right, the management up here, Alan and the guys, is they've kept these rainbows around to allow people to take them home. It's a great fish. There's nothing wrong with him. They eat pretty good, they smoke well. They're just not quite up to snuff to a kokanee, but fun catch. Thanks, buddy. See, the banana's gone, rainbow time. Oh, Scott. Oh my hell. <laughs> That's a coke. Can't even get it set and it's hooked up. It's fighting me. All of a sudden figured out he was caught. Not fighting like a cutthroat. It is a cut. Oh my goodness. A cut with an attitude. I'm the cutthroat master. Pretty cut. But you made a mess of that here. The fishing is usually better here on the Soldier Creek side of Strawberry earlier in the year. It's not acting like a coke. But I've seen them do this, and then they see the boat and they go berserk. It's a cutter rainbow. The main body of strawberry should be fishing better for kokanee once the runoff slows down and the clarity of the water clears up. I would guess that'll happen in early to mid June. Not a bad rainbow. I was poo pooing your fish and it's a nice boat. I know. Hey, let's go back to talking about the jazz game. We got fish as soon as we got serious about it. We can talk about the Saints too. They got a quarterback, so I'm back to being a fan. One of them was a really nice fish. The other <laughs> one was kind of sketchy. You know, both Scott and Cameron are sports fanatics. I knew, having both of them on board, that we'd undoubtedly start talking jazz. It's a good time to be talking about sports in Utah with potential NHL coming in with Ryan Smith to the Miller Group talking about MLB. I mean, this is, a, and who knows, maybe another Olympics. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, the, Olymp the Olympic is gonna come here. You had an all-star game. Uh, it really feels like to me that uh, sports in Utah is growing up. Yeah, not even to mention the Jazz and their three right, picks yeah. this year. And unfortunately, we didn't move up. We're stuck at number nine, but that's all right. Uh, they always seem to do something. Well, you know, uh, Danny Ainge said he wanted to have fun at the draft and he's got draft picks. He's, he's gonna have a, fun. He's got a top 10 pick, you know, see if, if they can trade up or, or they can, you just, I just believe Danny Ainge always has something up his sleeve. You know? He's biting his lip back here. I know, because he wants to, he wants to chip in. 
What's your opinion, Cam? They position themselves to have the flexibility in the cap situation. They've got the assets in the bank to go out and get it. They just need to identify a player that'll fit a situation for Will Hardy. Snag him, put him next to Larry Markinen while Larry's on a $16 million a year contract, and run. And win championships. I knew I shouldn't have brought up the Jazz. See, now it's supposed to be a fishing trip, now it's a sports trip. That looks pretty good. That's a down nut. Yeah, that's Coke. Gotta be. Come on, Scott. We got rid of the bananas. Kokanee. That's a Coke. Silver. Go and jump. No jumping. It's a good Coke, too. Oh, come on, fish. Got him. Sweet. Nice, nice Coke. That's, oh, that's the biggest one. one of the trip. Hey. Nice hey, one. Hey, sports fans. Hey, sports fans. Uh, Lose the banana, catch the Coke. <laughs> Coke in the boat. And quarterbacks catching all the fish. Now he finally got a Coke. Finally. You like eating these? Oh, are you kidding? Love them, huh? I smoke the heck out of them. Love to smoke them. Yeah. You know what the best part of fishing is? The bananas. Besides the bananas is the trash talking. <laughs> That's really the best part of fishing. There's, there's no better way to make someone feel just like they're about two inches high than <laughs> trash talking when they're fishing. Just enough for a meal. Works for me. <laughs> they're yours. We'll send you home with some Cokes and you can go oh. smoke them up. It's on a Camp Chef, isn't it? Absolutely. It better be. I was going to have to tackle is, you. Is like, there anything else? It was going to be a Ray Lewis open field tackle. Hey, this is the difference between guys on TV and guys on the radio is the face. This He's got a face for TV. I got a face for radio. Yeah, but you're a heck of a lot more knowledgeable about sports. And every day, Monday through Friday from? 3 to 6. 3 to 6. Yeah, KSL The Sports Zone. Hey, I'm Adam Eagle. KSL Outdoors. Remind you got your family, your friends. Come up to Strawberry and make some memories outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night.